Good morning, everybody. This is Reverend Essie of New Birth Ministries, and today is June 2nd, 2022, and this is Morning Coffee in Heaven with Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. And I hope everything is going good with you. It's a nice day. It's cool, a little crisp, and that's good because we've had some 90 degree days lately where I live at. Amen. And we could really use the cool air. So I'm going to enjoy it. God is good. Amen. He takes care of his children. He takes care of us. God is a good God. And he knows our needs. God knows our needs. He's the kind of God where he will keep us ahead of our enemies at all times. Even sometimes whenever it might look to you like the enemy is treading with you. The enemy is catching up. You're, you will always be ahead because of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are saved and you have Jesus Christ as your savior, you have no worries at all unless your flesh takes you into worry, unless you begin to worry through the flesh because in the spirit, you have no worries. You have the Holy Spirit living with you. Here's some of the things that Jesus did with us. I wanted to read this to you this morning. And I'm reading this from... <clears throat> Let me see where I got this from. I'm reading my online Bible. Hebrews 9, okay? And I'm going all the way down to, I believe, 20. <clears throat> okay, I'm going down to, let's say, 19. I'll start with 19, okay? And it says, for when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people, according to the law, he took the blood of calves and goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and uh, sprinkled both the book and all the people. These are things that Moses had to do according to the Mosaic law. Amen. And we are not living by the Mosaic law anymore. And verse 20 says, saying, this is the blood of the testament which God has enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry, and almost all things are by the law purged with blood. And without shedding of blood, there is no remission. Okay. And then verse 23 says, it was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these, but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these for Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands. See, the Bible's telling us Jesus made it better. Jesus made it easier. It's different now because of Jesus. You don't have to do all that work. In fact, God tells us, let him do the work. Amen. Jesus is not entered into uh, holy places made with hands, which are the figures of the true but into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God for us. See, what it's saying, if you know anybody who is still having blood sacrifices, killing animals and doing things like this and going into the temple to do this and to, to do that, that is religion. Okay, that is not freedom in Christ Jesus. They are religious people. Amen. Jesus paid it all. We don't have to do that anymore. Some poor animals somewhere do not have to lose their life because a silly human thinks that they have to use them for a sacrifice. And then it says, verse 25, nor yet that he should offer himself often <clears throat> as the high priest enters into the holy place every year with the blood of others. In other words, what this is saying is Jesus gave himself one time Okay, that, that sacrifice, it was the greatest sacrifice ever. Nothing can take its place. If you accept Jesus Christ, you're clean. You're saved. Amen. He did it one time, unlike the priests of old. Okay, and, and there's a lot of uh, Messianic Jews that need to hear this message. Amen. Jesus paid it all. No more blood, no more sacrifices, no more purging the temple. Okay. For then must he often have suffered since the foundation of the world, but now once in the end of the world hath he appeared to put away sin by the sacrifice of himself. No bulls, no goats, no rams, no chickens, no doves, nothing. Amen. So all these people that are using chicken blood and dove blood and all that, killing animals, they're wrong. They're wrong, they're wrong, they're wrong. 
Amen. I hope, don't you do it either. Amen. And then verse 27 says, and as it, it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the true judgment. <clears throat> so Christ was once offered, and I'll end with this. Christ was once offered to bear the sins of many. Not just a town, not just a temple, not just a temple of every town, everybody. He was once offered to bear the sins of many. And unto them that look for him shall he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Amen. Jesus is coming back. And I hope you're saved. Amen. I try to make these videos short because all I want to do is get people to know about Jesus. I'm not trying to get famous. It's not about me. I could care less, actually. Jesus is coming back. He, is, he, can, he can be your best friend. If you make him your savior, if, you, if you're not saved, just say, Lord, forgive me of my sins. I accept you as my savior. I believe you died on the cross and rose three days later for the sins of the world. And I thank you. Amen. Welcome to the family of God. It's that easy. Amen. Hallelujah. Go find a Bible believing tongue talk of church. Learn to speak in your holy tongue. Because when you speak in tongues, the devil doesn't know what you're saying. And yes, your flesh is going to say, oh, you sound stupid. You need to stop doing that. That's crazy. How can you believe in that? Your flesh is going to fight you. Fight it back. Amen. Speak in tongues. Have a close relationship with Jesus. And Reverend Nessie signing off. God bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you. Amen. God be gracious unto you. Hallelujah. God give you his mercy, his grace, his peace. And remember to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Amen. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless.